Welcome back to Animal Facts, here we give you nothing but absolute facts so believe it. Prepare to be amazed by nature's ultimate masters of disguise. In this captivating video, we unveil the top 10 skillfully camouflaged animals that have perfected the art of blending seamlessly into their surroundings. So join us on a journey through the world of cunning concealment and watch in awe as these incredible creatures reveal their astonishing abilities. Through awe-inspiring visuals and expert insights, you'll gain a newfound appreciation for the intricacies of the natural world and the survival tactics that have allowed these animals to conquer the art of concealment. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest explorations into the animal kingdom's most astonishing feats. With that said, it's time to disappear into today's video. Kicking off today's list we have katydids. Katydids are a type of insect belonging to the family Tetagoniidae. They are closely related to grasshoppers and crickets. Katydids have an elongated body with a flattened appearance. They typically have long antennae that can be as long as or even longer than their bodies. Katydids come in a range of colors, including green, brown, and sometimes even pink or purple. This coloration helps them blend into their natural surroundings and evade predators. Katydid species that reside in vegetation-rich habitats have evolved to resemble leaves, stems, or even thorns. Their body shape, coloration, and wing structure closely mimic different parts of plants, making them nearly indistinguishable from their surroundings. Some katydids have evolved unique body shapes, such as flattened bodies or exaggerated projections, that help them resemble specific plant structures. This makes them less recognizable as insects and more likely to be mistaken for non-living elements of their environment. When threatened, katydids may freeze in place, relying on their camouflage to avoid detection. They remain motionless until the danger passes, using their resemblance to plant material to stay hidden. Some katydids have wings with patterns that mimic the movement of leaves in the wind. When disturbed, they may move their wings in a way that makes them look like fluttering leaves, further enhancing their disguise. Katydids' remarkable ability to blend into their surroundings through camouflage is a fascinating example of nature's ingenuity and adaptation. Their appearance and behaviors showcase the intricate ways in which insects have evolved to survive and thrive in their ecosystems. Up next we have cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are remarkable marine creatures belonging to the cephalopod group, closely related to octopuses and squids, they are known for their unique appearance, fascinating behavior, and exceptional camouflage skills. Cuttlefish have a flattened and elongated body with a distinct head and large, round eyes. They have eight arms and two longer retractable tentacles adorned with suckers, which they use to capture prey. Cuttlefish are renowned for their ability to rapidly change the color and texture of their skin. They achieve this through specialized cells called chromatophores, which contain pigments that can expand or contract to produce various colors. In addition to changing color, cuttlefish can manipulate the texture of their skin. By raising or lowering papillae, small muscular structures, they can create 3D textures that resemble objects in their environment, such as coral or rocks. Cuttlefish can change their appearance in milliseconds, allowing them to respond to changing conditions and threats almost instantaneously. Cuttlefish use their camouflage skills for communication and courtship. They can display a wide range of patterns and colors to convey messages or attract mates. When hunting, cuttlefish can blend into the background to approach prey unnoticed. They might also display bold patterns to startle prey, confusing them and making it easier to capture them. Cuttlefish's camouflage is so effective that they can even mask their shadow to avoid detection. This level of adaptability is crucial for their survival in the constantly changing underwater environment. Cuttlefish are a testament to the wonders of natural adaptation and evolution. Their intricate camouflage abilities not only serve as a means of protection and hunting but also showcase the intricate beauty and complexity of the marine world. Taking the 8th spot we have Stonefish. The Stonefish, Sinensia, is a highly venomous and well-camouflaged fish found in the coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific region, particularly in the waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The stonefish is named for its appearance, which closely resembles a rock or piece of coral on the seabed. Its body is covered in a mottled pattern of colors that mimic the textures and colors of its surrounding environment. Its coloration can range from shades of gray, brown, and green to match the sandy or rocky ocean floor. 
The stonefish's body is covered in bumpy and uneven surfaces that closely resemble the texture of rocks, corals, and marine debris found on the ocean floor. This texture helps it blend seamlessly into its surroundings, making it extremely difficult for predators and prey to detect. The stonefish's coloration and patterns perfectly match the colors of the substrate it rests on, whether it's sand, gravel, or coral. This cryptic coloration allows it to remain virtually invisible to both predators and potential prey. To enhance its camouflage, the stonefish often remains completely still and partially buried in the sand or nestled among rocks. Its lack of movement makes it even harder to spot. Stonefish can alter their body posture to resemble objects like rocks or coral, further aiding their disguise. They may raise their dorsal fin or angle their bodies to mimic the shape of a piece of debris. In addition to its impressive camouflage skills, the stonefish possesses a potent defense mechanism, venomous spines. The dorsal fin of the stonefish is lined with venomous spines that contain a powerful toxin. When threatened or stepped on, the stonefish can erect its spines, injecting venom into the unfortunate aggressor or intruder. Coming up next we have pygmy seahorses. Pygmy seahorses are enchanting and captivating marine creatures known for their miniature size and remarkable camouflage skills. Pygmy seahorses are among the tiniest of seahorse species, with some species measuring only about 0.5 to 1 inch 1 to 2.5 centimeters in length. Their diminutive size makes them masterfully adapted to their environment. Pygmy seahorses have a distinctive appearance, with a tubular snout, a prehensile tail that they use to anchor onto coral, and a rounded body shape. Their eyes can move independently, allowing them to scan their surroundings for potential threats or prey. One of the most astonishing aspects of pygmy seahorses is their extraordinary camouflage. They have the remarkable ability to blend in seamlessly with their coral habitat. Their coloration, texture, and body shape closely resemble the coral on which they reside, making them nearly invisible to predators and prey alike. Pygmy seahorses have the ability to change their coloration to match different coral backgrounds. They can adjust their hues and patterns to adapt to changes in their environment, enhancing their camouflage even further. Each species of pygmy seahorse is typically associated with a specific type of coral, and they rarely venture far from their chosen home. This specialization allows them to optimize their camouflage by residing in environments that closely match their appearance. Pygmy seahorses use their prehensile tails to anchor onto coral branches. They hold on tightly and sway with the movement of the coral, enhancing their camouflage by mimicking the swaying motion of the surrounding coral polyps. The camouflage skills of pygmy seahorses are a testament to the wonders of natural adaptation. Their ability to blend seamlessly with their environment not only helps them evade predators but also provides a mesmerizing sight for divers lucky enough to encounter these remarkable creatures in their natural habitat. Taking sixth place we have walking stick insects. Walking stick insects, also known as stick bugs or phasmids, are remarkable creatures known for their extraordinary camouflage skills and unique appearance. Walking stick insects come in various species and sizes, but they all share a common characteristic, they resemble sticks or twigs. Their long and slender bodies, often resembling the shape of a twig, help them blend seamlessly into their natural environments. Some species have small, leaf-like projections on their bodies, further enhancing their disguise. Camouflage is a key survival strategy for walking stick insects. They have evolved to closely resemble the plants and trees in their habitat. Their bodies often have textures, patterns, and colors that match the surrounding vegetation, making them nearly indistinguishable from real twigs or leaves. Walking stick insects come in a range of colors, from various shades of brown and green to gray or even mottled patterns. Their coloration allows them to blend in with the foliage and bark of trees, making them virtually invisible to predators and unsuspecting prey. The elongated body of walking stick insects adds to their disguise. Some species have flattened bodies, resembling a leaf, while others have a more cylindrical shape that mimics twigs. Their legs are often long and slender, resembling plant stems. Walking stick insects use immobility as a defense mechanism. When threatened, they often freeze in place, further resembling a stick or branch. This behavior helps them avoid detection by predators. Some species even sway gently in the wind to imitate the movement of plants. Walking stick insects have the ability to adjust their camouflage based on their surroundings. 
For example, if they are placed on a green leaf, they may gradually change their color to match the leaf over time. In addition to camouflage, some walking stick insects have other defensive tactics. They may secrete foul-tasting or toxic chemicals to deter predators. They may also use their long legs to strike or mimic the movements of twigs or branches, confusing potential attackers. Walking stick insects play an important role in their ecosystems as herbivores, feeding on leaves and plants. Their camouflage helps them avoid predators while they search for food and mates. It's time for the top 5. But I realized many of you watching haven't liked or subscribed to the channel, we would greatly appreciate the support if you could hit that subscribe button. With that said, taking 5th place we have Mantis. Mantises are remarkable insects known for their distinctive appearance and impressive camouflage skills. Mantises have a distinctive body shape characterized by a triangular head, large compound eyes, and elongated thorax. Their front legs are modified into powerful raptorial limbs with sharp spines, which they use to capture and hold prey. Mantises come in a variety of colors and patterns, ranging from shades of green and brown to mimic natural backgrounds. Camouflage is a key survival strategy for mantises, allowing them to blend seamlessly into their environment and ambush unsuspecting prey. Many mantises have coloration that matches the surrounding vegetation, such as leaves, stems, or bark. This helps them become virtually invisible to predators and prey alike. Some mantises resemble other insects or parts of their environment. For example, the orchid mantis looks remarkably like a flower petal, attracting insects that come to pollinate it. The dead leaf mantis mimics a dried leaf, even swaying in the breeze to further enhance the illusion. Mantises position themselves on surfaces that match their coloration. By carefully selecting their resting spots, they can become nearly indistinguishable from their surroundings. Mantises often adopt specific poses that make them look like harmless parts of the environment, such as twigs or branches. They might elongate their bodies or extend their legs to achieve this effect. Some mantises also use movements to enhance their camouflage. For instance, they might sway gently in the wind like a leaf to remain inconspicuous. Mantises' camouflage skills are a remarkable example of evolution's ability to shape organisms to survive in their environments. Their remarkable ability to blend in with their surroundings helps them evade predators while positioning themselves perfectly for a surprise attack on their prey. This combination of stealth and hunting prowess makes mantises fascinating and effective predators in the insect world. Taking the fourth spot we have chameleon. Chameleons are remarkable and intriguing reptiles known for their unique appearance and extraordinary camouflage skills. Chameleons come in various species, sizes, and colors, but they generally share some common features. Chameleons have a long, prehensile tail that helps them maintain balance and grip onto branches as they move through their arboreal habitats. Their eyes can move independently of each other, allowing them to have a wide field of view and scan for potential threats or prey from different directions. Chameleons have zygodactylous feet, meaning their toes are arranged in a distinctive pattern, with two toes facing forward and two toes facing backward. This foot structure enhances their grip on branches. Chameleons are renowned for their exceptional camouflage abilities, which they use primarily for two purposes, to avoid predators and to hunt prey. While chameleons are not as capable of changing color as popularly depicted, they can adjust the intensity of their colors. They do this by manipulating specialized pigment cells called chromatophores in their skin. Color changes can signal their mood, social status, and response to environmental factors such as temperature and light. Chameleons often match their color to their environment, making them nearly invisible to predators and potential prey. This ability helps them blend seamlessly into leaves, branches, and even flowers. Some species have specialized patterns and markings that help break up their outline and make it difficult for predators to detect them among the complex textures of their surroundings. Chameleons can fine-tune their colors to match the color and brightness of their immediate background. This creates a visual illusion that makes them remarkably well camouflaged. Certain chameleon species take camouflage a step further by mimicking objects or other animals. For instance, some chameleons can mimic leaves blowing in the wind, a behavior that further confuses predators. While color change is not as dramatic as often portrayed in media, chameleons can still make relatively rapid shifts in color when they are excited, threatened, or engaged in interactions with other chameleons. 
Chameleon's camouflage skills showcase their remarkable adaptation to their environments, enabling them to thrive in a range of habitats and evade predators. These captivating reptiles have captured the fascination of biologists, researchers, and nature enthusiasts, offering a unique glimpse into the wonders of the animal kingdom. Kicking off the top three we have dead leaf butterflies. The dead leaf butterfly Kalima species is a master of camouflage, showcasing one of the most remarkable examples of mimicry in the animal kingdom. The dead leaf butterfly derives its name from its uncanny resemblance to a dead leaf. When its wings are closed, it appears as a dried, withered leaf, complete with veins, discoloration, and even simulated bite marks. This disguise helps it blend seamlessly into its environment and avoid the notice of predators. The dead leaf butterfly's wings are intricately designed to mimic the texture of a real leaf. The surfaces of its wings may have irregular bumps, ridges, and patterns that closely resemble the veins and textures found on leaves. The butterfly's coloration is perfectly adapted to imitate the colors of dead or fallen leaves. The wings feature shades of brown, tan, and even muted greens, mirroring the hues of dried foliage. Some species of dead leaf butterflies take camouflage a step further by including patterns that resemble bite marks or signs of decay on their wings. These markings contribute to the illusion of being a damaged leaf. The dead leaf butterfly is typically found in forested areas where dead leaves are abundant. Its behavior, coloration, and camouflage skills allow it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings, making it extremely difficult for predators to detect. The remarkable mimicry exhibited by the dead leaf butterfly provides it with a significant survival advantage. It allows the butterfly to evade predators that rely on visual cues, such as birds and reptiles, by effectively disappearing into its environment. The dead leaf butterfly's ability to mimic a dead leaf is a striking example of nature's ingenuity and adaptation. Its camouflage skills not only aid in its survival but also serve as a testament to the incredible ways in which animals have evolved to thrive in their ecosystems. Taking the second spot we have Common Barren Caterpillar. The Common Barren Caterpillar Euthelia acanthia, is a remarkable insect known for its intricate and effective camouflage skills. The Common Barren Caterpillar is characterized by its elongated body, which may reach lengths of around 2.5 to 3 inches 6.3 to 7.6 centimeters. The coloration and patterning of the caterpillar's body vary, but it generally features a combination of green, brown, and yellow hues. Its body is often adorned with stripes, spots, and intricate patterns that help it blend into its surroundings. The caterpillar's body shape and coloration resemble a partially chewed leaf. It has a flattened appearance with irregular edges, mimicking the appearance of a leaf that has been nibbled on by insects. The caterpillar's body often features markings that resemble leaf veins, adding to its leaf-like illusion. These markings help break up the outline of its body and make it even harder to spot among real leaves. The caterpillar's behavior also contributes to its camouflage. It often positions itself along the midrib of a leaf, aligning its body with the leaf's natural veins. This positioning, along with its slow and deliberate movements, enhances its leaf-mimicking disguise. The caterpillar's coloration can vary based on the specific plants it feeds on. This adaptability allows it to better blend in with the foliage of its host plant, further enhancing its camouflage. When threatened or disturbed, the common barren caterpillar may freeze in place, resembling a leaf that is being blown by the wind. This behavior helps it avoid detection by predators that rely on movement to locate their prey. Overall, the common barren caterpillar's camouflage skills are a testament to the wonders of natural adaptation. Its leaf-like appearance, mimicry of leaf veins, and strategic positioning on leaves allow it to seamlessly blend into its environment, providing it with a higher chance of survival in the complex world of the rainforest ecosystem. Taking first place on today's list we have leaf-tailed geckos. Leaf-tailed geckos, also known as Europlatus geckos, are a group of remarkable and masterfully camouflaged reptiles found in Madagascar and surrounding islands. Leaf-tailed geckos have a unique and striking appearance that allows them to blend seamlessly into their natural environment. They are often characterized by their flattened bodies and large, leaf-like tails that resemble dead leaves. Their skin can have various patterns and textures that mimic the surfaces of tree bark and leaves. Leaf-tailed geckos possess some of the most exceptional camouflage skills in the animal kingdom. 
Their appearance and behaviors make them almost indistinguishable from the leaves and branches they inhabit, helping them evade predators and hunt for prey. Leaf-tailed geckos have evolved to look remarkably similar to dead leaves, complete with intricate vein-like patterns and irregular edges. This allows them to rest undetected on branches and tree trunks during the day. Their skin features textures and colors that closely resemble the surfaces of their surroundings. This includes variations in color, from shades of brown and green to mottled patterns, ensuring they seamlessly blend in with the tree bark. Leaf-tailed geckos often adopt specific poses and orientations that mimic the appearance of leaves hanging from branches or lying on the forest floor. They tuck their legs and tail close to their bodies and press against the surface they are resting on, further enhancing their camouflage. These geckos are primarily active during the night, which reduces the risk of being spotted by predators. Their nocturnal behavior also aligns with their hunting strategy, as they prey on insects that are active during the darkness. When leaf-tailed geckos do move, they do so slowly and deliberately, often rocking back and forth like a leaf in the wind. This subtle movement enhances their mimicry and makes them even harder to detect. Leaf-tailed geckos are a testament to the incredible adaptability and camouflage capabilities of animals in response to their environment. Their unique appearance and behaviors showcase the wonders of evolution and the intricate ways in which nature equips creatures to survive and thrive in their ecosystems. We have come to the end of today's video but before you go, I just want to thank you for watching, I appreciate it and please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also check out my Instagram link in the bio, for more photos and video clips. This is Animals Facts, see you next time with more facts.